Hey everybody, my name is Forbes Riley, and I'm an American actress and a TV host, and I was delighted when I got my copy of Missing, which is Extraordinary Relation of Ordinary People based on a real-life relationship. It's just, it's well-written. It's amazing. You know, it talks about a man who has lost his wife and his daughter, and it's very well done. I'm going to highly recommend that you go get your copy of Missing. It is a powerful, exciting read. Mr. Mian Moshe Zia. He is the author of Missing. And I want to give a big shout out and a kiss all the way halfway around the world to my dear friend. Check him out at Mia's website. It's called www.miamotionzea.com. Missing. Available on Amazon. Again, I'm Forbes Riley, and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye. The Mike Wagner Show is powered by Sonic Web Studios. If you're looking to start or upgrade your online presence, visit www.sonicwebstudios.com for all of your online needs. Sonic Web Studios specializes in custom web design, app development, social networking, search engine optimization, domain registration, email marketing, online stores, and more. Since our birth, we have been designing and developing immaculate websites and providing web solutions which are a cut above the rest. As a leading web designing enterprise, we have a team of extremely talented web designers designers who are well-focused and have the experience of working on multiple web developing platforms such as PHP, Magento, Custom WordPress, and more. Sonic Web Studios has been helping businesses of all kinds, whether big, small, established, or startup, impress their audiences with exemplary web solutions. We don't just create beautiful and functional websites. We give you a complete online solution with the main goal of enhancing your yearly revenues. We aim to give your business the online exposure and brand acknowledgement that will help you in achieving and increased conversions leading to profitable sales. Call 1-800-303-3960 or visit us online at www.sonicwebstudios.com to get started today. Mention the Mike Wagner Show and get 20% off your project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Hey everybody, it's Mike from the Mike Wagner Show. It's time to give a shout out to our official sponsor of the Mike Wagner Show, international award-winning author, Mian Mosin Zia. If you love fast-paced mysteries, then you'll love Missing by Mia Mosin Zia. Available on Amazon in paperback and ebook. Missing is fast-paced and intriguing with an unforgettable twist. It takes place in four countries with two strangers and one target where truth is an illusion and those you love will be the first to go missing. It's available in paperback and ebook on Amazon. Missing by Mia Mosin Zia has garnered great reviews and is even loved by Hollywood celebrities including Joanna Cassidy, Forbes Riley, and many others. So grab your copy today. Order Missing by Mia Mosin Zia, now available at Amazon. It's now time for the Mike Wagner Show, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. The Mike Wagner Show can be heard on Spreaker, Spotify, iHeartRadio, YouTube, iTunes, Anchor FM, Radio Public, and the MikeWagnerShow.com. Mike brings you great guests and interesting people from all across the globe. So sit back, relax, and enjoy another great episode of the Mike Wagner Show. Hey everybody, it's Mike from the Mike Wagner Show. Powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. Look at a professional website without breaking your budget. Sonic Web Studios is the answer. Sonic Web Studios offers fast, affordable, custom web designs that blow the competition away. Call today, 1-800-303-3960. That's 1-800-303-3960. Or email to support at sonicwebstudios.com. Mention the Mike Wagner Show. Get 20% off your first project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Also time to give a shout out to our official sponsor of the Mike Widener Show, international award-winning author Mia Mosin Zia. If you love fast-paced mysteries, you'll love Missing by Mia Mosin Zia. Available on Amazon in paperback and ebook. Missing is fast-paced and intriguing with an unforgettable twist. Takes place in four countries, two strangers, and one target. Where truth is an illusion and those you love be the first to go missing. It's available on paperback and ebook on Amazon. Missing by Mia Mosin Zia has garnered great reviews and even loved by Hollywood celebrities including Joanne Cassidy, Forbes Riley, and many others. So grab your copy today, Missing by Mia Mosin Zia, available on Amazon. Also, the Mike Widener Show can be here on the themikewidenershow.com. You can check our Facebook page at facebook.com slash Show. You can download and listen on Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Also on Anchor FM, iTunes, Google Play, Amazon, Audible, and Apple. Coming soon to Podbean, Plesbrot, Pandora, and TuneIn. 
heard worldwide on Geo7, Radio Public, Himalaya, and more. Take the Mike Widener Show with you on any mobile device. Subscribe to the Mike Widener Show on the YouTube channel and follow the Mike Widener Show on Instagram and Twitter today. We're here with the wonderful lady from El Paso, Texas. After a 35-year career in the IT industry, this wonderful lady was faced with a series of challenges that altered her professional life forever. She was let go from a major technology company. Her husband, 22 years, suddenly passed away. Their shared 200-acre exotic animal ranch business had to close its doors and um uh, and she's also a breast cancer uh, survivor. And at this juncture, she stepped into her own journey to elation. And along the way, she realized she can inspire other women to their own feminine power and create a successful business and lifestyle. Today, this uh, lady travels the country and the world live and virtually assisting women business owners and entrepreneurs alike to overcome any obstacles, stay heart-centered, scale their business with ease and grace, and affirm the right to financial freedom while creating a life they love. And author of the number one bestseller, Catherine's Quest, one Woman's Journey to Elation. Live, ladies and gentlemen, from the Plus Studios, deep in the heart of Texas, the very, very wonderful author of Catherine's Quest, One Woman's Journey to Elation, Pat Alva Craker. Pat, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Thanks for joining us today. Hey, Mike. How are you? Hey, I'm doing great, and uh, it's glad to talk to you from the deep heart of Texas. Of course, uh, you're from El Paso, Texas. You also graduated from uh, University of Texas in project management coaching. You also spent 35 years in the IT business before being released. And, um, of course, we talked about some of um, the events that happened. You're also the founder of Majestic Coaching Group, and you also have a book called Catherine's Quest, One Woman's Journey to Elation. And before we get into all that, tell us how I first got started. How the book got started? Yes. Uh, how, how, how did the book get started, and uh, what inspired mm-hmm. you to write the book? Okay. <clears throat> I just want to make sure I'm clear about that. You know? Okay. Uh, as you know, I've had a number uh, of challenges, which you mentioned. And um, <clears throat> in each of those journeys, there was uh, lessons to be learned. And I just truly believe, Mike, that we all are on the sacred journey, and uh, every challenge, adversity, whatever you want to call it, is there to teach us a lesson. Mm-hmm. And uh, I've had three significant emotional lessons. And in each one, I learned something specific about myself. I learned how to overcome that obstacle and and come out a stronger, wiser woman. And really, I I would like to start with the breast breast cancer experience. Um, I'm now 26, a breast cancer thriver, and very grateful for... uh, being able to talk about that journey because it does help a lot of women to get an understanding that they're not alone in this journey. What I came to learn about breast cancer and the emotional uh, attachment or connection is that uh, breast cancer is associated with overgiving. Mm -hmm. Overgiving, giving from an empty cup, um, Lack of self-care is how I took that in. And so it was a a pause for me to stop and evaluate <clears throat> where I was in my life. Was I happy? What needed to change in order to me in order for me to to come out on the other side healthier and happier? And I did come to learn that I was very much an overgiver, overgiver to, to my family, the community, <clears throat> work, and I I mean, put myself last on the list. Mm-hmm. And so there was a, a moment for me to come and realize that in order to really uh, continue in my life, I needed to make some changes. And it really brought me to a point where I took a look at what I was doing in my career. <clears throat> I was traveling 80% of the time and then helping my, and then helping my family, uh, my husband with the ranch. Oh wow! And so yes, it was over. It was overwhelming, and I had my coaching practice on the side. So I was burning the candle on both ends, and it, and it came to uh, an immediate stop. And I remember the, the day that I uh, checked out of the hospital, and we had an hour long drive to our ranch, and I just sat <clears throat> in the car, just really thinking about the situation, what's happened to me, and how I'm going to come out on the other side. Uh, doing well and happy and healthy. And I just realized that what was important was for me to really take responsibility for my health and uh, to make some pivots. So I did go down the traditional medicine uh, 
path, if you will, Mike, and add chemo and <clears throat> radiation. And I learned energy medicine. So I became a Reiki and polarity therapist uh, on my path to recovery, to mm -hmm. healing. And so I took in energy medicine, aromatherapy, and all the changes in my health, and my, my eating. And I started really connecting within me. So I started uh, meditating. I started journaling. I started researching practices that would help me heal from a mind, body, and soul. So I started these, uh, I started a journal of different practices that I learned from uh, reading, from attending classes, uh, conferences, and I began to practice a, a set of practices that really helped ground myself, helped connect me with my body. And I found that they were, <clears throat> that they were successful, they were powerful. And I would take these practices and I would share them with my clients. And they tried these practices and they started seeing success. And so I said, why am I just keeping these secrets just to a small group of people when I can really make a bigger impact? Mm -hmm. And I started really being very mindful about notating all my practices and started to collect them started to collect my practices. My other big learning spurt was when my husband passed away and I found myself running a 200 acre ranch pretty much by myself. Wow. I, I did have a, <clears throat> a ranch, hand, uh, ranch hand and he was in a wheelchair. Oh, wow. So when, as long as the day was sunny, perfect, warm and dry, you know, he was able to help me with everything. So uh -huh. Randy was able to help feed all the take care of all the animals as I <clears throat> went to um, work you know, with my career and my business on the side. But when we had bad weather, he couldn't get his wheelchair around mm -hmm. in, in ice or in rain or in snow. And I would have to take a day off from work in order to, to take care of the animals. And so it would be a long day of just feeding and taking care of the animals. I absolutely loved it, and uh, I absolutely have no regrets in having that lifestyle. And what I learned, Mike, is that I became very much in tune with nature and with the animals. Mm. Because as an animal giver, an animal take, uh, caregiver, <clears throat> you have to notice all the subtle changes in the animals in order to determine if something needs to be changed. Uh -huh. So I was very mindful of looking at the my pot belly pigs and my donkeys and the birds looking them in the eyes and really connecting to see if they're they're they still had that brightness in their eyes. Mm -hmm. And if I saw a change in their eyes or the way they looked at me, then I saw there was something wrong. Uh -huh. So the eyes are, they say are the windows to the soul. And for me, the eyes told me a lot about how they were feeling and it was uh, very mindful of connecting with them. So I would go out in the field. I had 150 donkeys. Mm. I would go out in the field and just connect with them and look at their feet and their eyes and see how they were doing. And then they would just come around and they would just encircle me. Huh. And there was this sense of bondness, a sense of we're watching for you, we're taking care of you. And that's the way they you know, take care of themselves within their own families. And I began to learn you know, the importance of really connecting and being surrounded by nature and, you know, asking for support mm -hmm. in order to be able to thrive and, and come out of this experience. <clears throat> I also learned from my pop belly pigs who are extremely intelligent and very intuitive how to really start connecting within myself. And what I learned about my, my favorite pop belly pig, Mona, is that Anytime somebody wanted to come out to the ranch and buy some animals, I always had Mona out in the front yard. Huh. And people would come up and we would have a conversation and then I would watch Mona. And so when Mona had a good feeling about the people that were wanting to buy animals, if there was a trust, she would gravitate to those people. <laughs> and then... And on the opposite end, 
when she felt a, a negative energy or wasn't comfortable or trusting of those people, she would turn around and walk the other way. Oh, wow. And so I followed, I would follow her lead and hmm. I would read, I would read her and how she became so intuitive about people's energy that I started tuning in to myself and really became very in tune to my own energy and other people's energy and would really trust my gut feel when it came to the sale of an animal mm. because I wasn't about to sell them to anyone who wasn't a loving animal lover. Mm. That's very interesting. And I could imagine uh, Babe the pig right now saying, that'll do, pig. That'll do. <laughs> <laughs> So the importance of uh, developing your intuition and trusting your gut was something that Mona taught me. So I'm really grateful of all the lessons that I learned really from all the animals. And I took those practices then into my book. I started writing those practices of what they taught me, taught me what they taught me about business, what they taught me about intuition, love, healing. And it was an amazing experience to uh, really be raised by them, if you will. Huh. That's very interesting. And you you talk more about the uh, the exotic animal ranch. You have 150 donkeys. You got a number of pot bellied pigs and some birds and everything. What other animals that you have on the um, ranch? And maybe like um, a specific type. And what's been like the most popular and maybe like the most unusual um, animals that you had or by request? Right. So we had, uh, thank you for asking. We had uh, emus and rias. Oh, wow. Uh, we had ibec. We had all different kinds of uh, boar, uh, parrots, uh, all different kinds of birds from Australia and South America. Mm -hmm. um, snakes. Ooh. Uh, yeah, I know. I never would have thought that I would become friends with snakes, but I sure did. That's uh, special. Yeah, you know, <laughs> exactly. We had these two snakes. One was called May and one was called Will. So May, May bite you. But will, and will will bite you. Oh, you I get it. Really... <laughs> May bite you and will bite you. And what about their what about their cousins? Maybe will maybe bite you, or I'll see if I bite you, or definitely or not bite you. It's like don't they have those cousins out there? <laughs> that that's fast, Mike. I appreciate that. <laughs> So, you, so it was really, really amazing. I, you know, I grew up a city girl, and I married a country boy. And for those who remember Green Acres, we were that comedy show. Oh, I it remember that. Yes. The chores, the stores. <laughs> ah, fresh air. <laughs> Bel <-air. laughs> Oh, that was a great show. I love it. <laughs> I, loved, I loved it, too. I loved it, too. Uh, the birds were very fascinating. We used to um, sell a lot of birds. And... The one, the, the bird that I found was more, more the most majestic of all of them uh, were the peacocks. Mm -hmm. And we traditionally get, uh, see the blue, the deep blue uh, peacocks, but they come in a variety of colors. They come in white, they come in purple, uh, they come in different shades of brown, different shades of green. I mean, so many. Ooh. And uh, we started carrying a variety of colors. And so people who were breeders and who were, who were into peacocks, would uh, come and buy our peacocks because we had such a, a large variety of colors. And um, so they were just so beautiful. And then the pot belly, all the different kinds of pot belly pigs, they came in uh, different sizes, but they communicate huh. uh, so much. They were one, the birds and the pot belly kids are probably our, our most popular. Mm -hmm. We kind of rode the wave of, of animals that were popular at different times. And uh, so I think, you know, birds were definitely, uh, you know, very special in our lives and just the majestic colors and the sounds. You know, I, I don't have, I sold the ranch and I can tell you that I really miss that lifestyle. Mm -hmm. I really learned so much from them and it was just a fascinating life that a lot, probably a lot of people don't live. Hmm. It, and, and it sounds like it, too. And I was going to ask you as well, too, before we um, get back to your book. And uh, what inspired you guys to start up an exotic animal ranch? <clears throat> uh, my husband has always been 
a rancher. When I, I met my husband in the corporate world, which was really surprising uh-huh. because he had this, uh, it was, he, he was very, uh, very intelligent. And so, of course, in the IT, he was very left brain and analytical, but his right brain is too intuitive. He was such like an animal speaker. He all, he grew up with animals as a child and his interest just grew and you know, we just both jumped into it and said, why not? You know, let's try this. Let's let's have all kinds of animals and see what it's like to experience them and raise them and take care of them. So, yeah, we just, you know, we went uh, all in and uh, I would go with him to animal auctions and we'd fill the, the trailer and I'd drive back while he slept. And, yes, it was um, an experience that I just uh, really supported because it was one of his passions and then soon became one of mine. Mm hmm. And, and of course, you know, speaking of passions as well, too, we'll get back to the book, Catherine's Quest, One Woman's Journey to Relation and um, Self-Care and More and Some Challenges. But first, listen to the Mike Widener Show at the Mike Show dot com, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at SonicWebStudios.com for all your needs. Look at a professional website without breaking your budget. Sonic Web Studios is the answer. Sonic Web Studios offers fast, affordable, custom web designs at below the competition way. Call today, 1-800-303-3960. That's 1-800-303-3960. Or email to support at SonicWebStudios.com. Mention the Mike Wagner Show. Get 20% off your first project. Sound of Web Studios. Take your image to the next level. Also, time to give a shout-out to our official sponsor of the Mike Wagner Show, international award-winning author Mia Mosin Zia. If you love fast-paced mysteries, you'll love Missing by Mia Mosin Zia. Available on Amazon in paperback and ebook. Missing is fast-paced and intriguing with an unforgettable twist. It takes place in four countries, two strangers, and one target. Where truth is an illusion and those you love be the first to go missing. It's available on paperback and ebook on Amazon. Missing by Mia Mosin Zia has garnered great reviews and even loved by Hollywood celebrities, including Joanna Cassie, Forbes Riley, and many others. So grab your copy today, Missing by Mia Mosin Zia, available on Amazon. Also, The Mike Widener Show can be heard on themikewidenershow.com. You can check our Facebook page at facebook.com slash themikewidenershow. You can download and listen on Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Also on Anchor FM, iTunes, Google Play, Amazon, Audible, and Apple. Coming soon to Podbean, Buzzsprout, Pandora, and TuneIn. Heard worldwide on Geo7, Radio Public, Himalaya, and more. Take The Mike Widener Show with you on any mobile device. Subscribe to The Mike Widener Show on the YouTube channel. And follow The Mike Widener Show on Instagram and Twitter today. We're here with the author of Catherine's Quest, One Woman's Journey to Elation. Pat Alva Craig here on The Mike Widener Show. And she was um, a, a former corporate um Executive, 35 career years in the uh, IT industry, and also um, ran an animal ranch with her husband and um, you know, of, of 22 years before passing on. And, of course, you care a lot of these things. You care about the animals. They care about you. You care about your job, and you also care about your family. But, of course, you know, you also had um, been determined to uh, reset and everything. You also wrote the book. And why, why is self-care so important to women? Self-care is so important to women. Because without uh, without taking responsibility for our care, especially if we have a lot of entrepreneurs on this on the show, is that we really need to take care of ourselves in order for us to really be good givers. We want to be able to give to the world, and the only way we can do that is if we have a full cup ourselves. Mm-hmm. So many times, uh, Mike, we are so we give so much that we are the last to give, and it's not until something serious happens that women actually take a pause, reevaluate, and pivot. And I grew up from <clears throat> I grew up from a family where all the women in in my life, my mom, my grandmother, my great grandmothers, they were all overgivers. They were they put themselves last on the list. Their families came first, and did very little self care. And I was determined to break that cycle, and really teach women that we really need to take time to care for ourselves from a mind, body, and soul perspective in order for us, to, for us to really thrive. Because as my grandmother once said, if you don't take care of yourself, no one else is. Right. And so, it be, yeah, it became very important for me to start getting that message out to women that it doesn't really take a lot to take care of yourself. Mm-hmm. Right, exactly. Yeah. And of course, um, how have your challenges served you in uh, writing a book? So, definitely... There were all they, all of these were lessons in self care, and as I put together all my practices, I actually initially came up with 31 practices 
of uh, soulful, soulful practices and self-care practices. And that was the initial concept of the book, Mike. <clears throat> when I went to my publisher, I, I took the book and, and uh, he said, you have three books here in this one book. Wow. So he says, I want you to take seven or your favorite, whatever that number is, a little smaller than 31. I want you to pick those self practices that uh, you really love and we'll start with those. And then I want you to wrap a story around them. Mm -hmm. So that's what I did because the practices that I teach are, are self care practices, but they also are practices on how to better lead yourself. Mm -hmm. And when you know how to better lead yourself through self care practices, you can handle any adversity in your life. Mm -hmm. You can lead yourself better. You can lead yourself. You can lead your teams better. You can lead a company in uh, in a stronger position. And it really uh, begins with how you lead yourself and how you take care of yourself. So I took those practices, and this story is about Catherine. You know, she she loses her business, her marriage falls apart, and she loses her home. Mm. And she is at a point where she feels hopeless, just like you know when I did when when I had uh, encountered these adversities. And she didn't know where to begin to take to take herself out of the situation and and come out stronger. And she finds this fascinating journal that belonged to her uncle that was in a trunk that was in her attic. And she starts reading his journey as he was looking for elation uh -huh. and he goes to she he goes to these uh, different islands seven islands that amplify values that help us get to the point where we're beyond happiness mm. and the people in those islands amplify those values mm. and so she starts learning about herself she starts she starts learning about self-care starts trusting herself falls in love with herself, becomes true to herself, and really through her journey with uh, with her uncle's uh, journal, really ends up growing up and understanding what really it, what really it means to be happy, mm. what it means to be, to live a fulfilling life, and to live your life through intention. And so what I do is within the story, there's a section in each of the chapters called Pat's Musing, where I share my practices, okay. my soulful practices, my self-care practices, and I take these women on a journey. I ask them to practice certain specific exercises. I ask them deep questions mm. and have them go within and find their own way, their own path of self-care and self-leadership. It comes with a journal and it comes with affirmation cards so that you can truly have a transformation from the beginning to the end of the book. Mm -hmm. And that's amazing as well, too. And um, what are some of the key messages you want women to uh, walk away with after uh, reading the book? There are several. The one that I that is really important to me is for people, for women to be fully present and to live in the moment of whatever they're doing. And to understand that when they're fully present, you allow yourself to be open and empty to receiving what is ever meant for you to receive for that moment or that day, that lifetime. Uh huh. And not live with any, well, not live with any judgments or expectations, but just to be totally open to the wonders of your journey because it is a sacred journey. Mm -hmm. Another is to understand that living through intention is a way to manifest anything that you want in your life mm -hmm. is to create your outcomes by requesting and seeing the specific outcome in your mind and asking the universe to fulfill it mm -hmm. and just seeing from a heart's perspective what it would feel like to manifest a specific event a specific lifestyle a, a conversation whatever that may be is that you're very mindful about your actions uh -huh. and, and your ask for what you want. Mm -hmm. and, and that's very amazing as well, too. And uh, where can people uh, purchase the book, uh, Catherine's Quest, and how they get a hold of it? I do have a website. It's called 
MajesticCoachingGroup.com, www.MajesticCoachingGroup.com. And for your listeners, Mike, I offer Chapter 1 for free. Okay. So you can download Chapter 1. You're going to fall in love with the book. You can come back to my website and buy the book bundle, which is the book, the journal, and the affirmation cards. And <clears throat> it is really... Uh, it is really a magical journey once you dive in and actually start doing the work. Mm-hmm. And go, yes. go, go ahead. Go ahead. You're on a roll here. I'm loving this. So, <laughs> <Especially coffee. laughs> so, so there's, there's one, one exercise that I'd like to share with your, with the audience. And it's, this is the one that has gotten a lot of feedback from my readers and it's called unraveling. And I truly believe that we are our best teacher. We are our own guru. And this exercise puts you in a position where you are the observer of your life. So at the end of the day, I ask you to take a moment and to play back your day from the time you woke up until you go to bed. Hmm. And just see it unwind as if you're watching a movie. And as you see yourself throughout your day, I, I ask that you ask yourself these three questions. What went well in my day and why? What didn't go so well and why? And what will I do differently? Mm. When we become an observer of our lives and we pay attention to our lives to that level of detail, you will learn what your gifts are, what talents you have, what you're good at finessing. And you'll learn where the gaps are, what their patterns are, what your habits are. So that if you, do, if you were to do that every day, the next day you would be a better person. And so the next day you'd be a better person. So it's a way to evolve and be a better person every day. Mm-hmm. And that's very fascinating. I feel relaxed already. So thank God for TiVo in my mind. I'll tell you that. I mean, that's very <laughs> wonderful. I got to say that. Very wonderful. So it's, we become observers of our lives, and that's how we really grow, when we really pay attention. And we trust what we see and what we feel. Uh huh. Because as you know, I had a uh, corporate career, and in IT, you're taught to be very analytical. Mm -hmm. and to bring in the numbers and the business case and you know you're very left left brain and I was very intuitive as a child and when I came to learn that in order to assimilate I really let go of my intuitive self and sharpened the analytical side of me and I learned that there, there's a nice place where you can integrate both the analytical and the intuitive and really be very successful in life and in business. And so these practices that I share helped me integrate those two sides, which is what unraveling is one of those exercises. And, of course, meditation. Do you meditate, Mike? Um, I do meditate, I do pray, and I do relax. I got to say this, and right now I'm very relaxed with you, especially with a cup of coffee right now as we're speaking. So, <laughs> yay! <laughs> so good. So meditation is one of the things that I talk about, and it's not really, you know, Mike. There's a couple of ways that you can do that. Really, meditation for me is how to become still, so that you can hear the voice that is whispering in your ear. Okay. And that can come through sitting quietly you know, on a, on a chair or on a cushion, but it can also be taking a walk in nature by yourself hmm. in that stillness and being open to receiving. So I, I, I really believe that meditation is, is a way to really connect and it can come in different flavors. Hmm. That is very interesting. I'm really enjoying this. So I love I love the meditation part of it, and we talk a little lot a lot about journalists. And so when I take it to the unraveling exercise, you're going to learn some. You know, when women learn, I can't believe 
my pattern in doing X, you know, when I realized how, when this particular event went really well, I didn't realize how good I was at doing A, B, and C. And so I say, well, every time you do this exercise and you unravel, I want you to start documenting. I want you to create your own journal and start documenting your own lessons so that not only do you see it in your mind's eye, but you're also writing it out. Uh huh. Because then you take in the lessons a little deeper. And that's also another way that you really can see your life unfold because some of us are visual, some of us are, you know, kinesthetic, some of us are uh, audio, you know, we hear, we feel, we, we see the different lessons and the, and the messages that come to us. And so I try to incorporate all the senses in helping you learn more about yourself and helping you become a better leader. Hmm. So there's a, a little bit of everything in there. And that's amazing, too. And it's also part of the Majestic uh, Coaching Group. And where can, they find, mm-hmm. um, where can they find your services? What else you can do? And uh, how can they get a hold of you? Yeah, thank you for asking. So it's MajesticCoachingGroup.com. My website does list all, all my services. As Mike said, I, I love working with women entrepreneurs who have come to a point where they have plateaued. And they're looking for a way to increase their profits their productivity, and their leadership skills with ease and grace. And so I work with women one-on-one or in groups, and I, I do a lot of teaching as well. And so all of those services are listed at MajesticCoachingGroup.com. And any one, any one of your uh, listeners here might can request 30 minutes of, of, of my time to really strategize and talk about something that was specific in the book that they loved, and they may want to take a deeper dive. I'm willing to offer that to all of your listeners who uh, download the book, buy the book, and just want uh, a guide by their side as they work through it. Mm-hmm. And, and that's very amazing, too. And what's coming up for um, author of uh, Catherine's Quest, One Woman's Jury to Elation, Pat Alva Craker? We'll find out just a minute on the Mike Wagner Show. You listen to the MikeWagnerShow.com, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at SonicWebStudios.com for all your needs. And also brought to you by our official sponsor of the Mike Wagner Show, international warring author, me and Mosin Zia of Missing. It's available on Amazon, paperback, and ebook. We'll be back with Alva with author Pat Alva Craker after this timeout on The Mike Wagner Show. The Mike Wagner Show is powered by Sonic Web Studios. If you're looking to start or upgrade your online presence, visit www.sonicwebstudios.com for all of your online needs. Call 1-800-303-3960 or visit us online at www.sonicwebstudios.com to get started today. Mention The Mike Wagner Show and get 20% off your project. Sonic Web Studios. Take your image to the next level. Hey everybody, my name is Forbes Riley and I'm an American actress and a TV host. And I was delighted when I got my copy of Missing, which is Extraordinary Relation of Ordinary People based on a real life relationship. It's just, it's well written. It's amazing. You know, it talks about a man who has lost his wife and his daughter and it's very well done. I'm going to highly recommend that you go get your copy of Missing. It is a powerful, exciting read. Mr. Mian Moshe Zia, he is the author of Missing. And I want to give a big shout out and a kiss all the way halfway around the world to my dear friend. Check him out at Mia's website. It's called www.miamoshenzea.com. Missing, available on Amazon. Again, I'm Forbes Riley, and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye. Hey everybody, it's Mike from The Mike Widener Show. The Mike Widener Show can be heard on over 30 podcast platforms, including Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, iHeartRadio, Anchor FM, iTunes, Google Play, Amazon, Audible, Apple, and more. Coming soon to Podbeam, Buzzsprout, Pandora, and TuneIn, where The Mike Widener Show interviews great guests, cool conversation, lots of laughs, coffee, and more. Take The Mike Widener Show with you on any mobile device, subscribe to The Mike Widener Show on the YouTube channel, and follow The Mike Widener Show on Instagram and Twitter today. Hey, hey, this is Ray Powers. And if there's one thing you can count on in these unpredictable times, it's that you're in good hands getting some great radio, courtesy of The Mike Wagner Show. We're back with author Pat Alva Craker, Catherine's Quest, One Woman's Journey to Elation on the Mike Widener Show. A very, very fascinating story about um, about Pat. she uh, been in the... Um, IT business for 35 years, also uh, ran an exotic animal ranch with her husband and, um, 
22 years. He passed away and also uh, talked about her, about her um, cancer battle. Also talked about the book Catherine's Quest, One Woman's Journey to Elation. And um, just a few more minutes here with Pat. And uh, we love to have you back on as well, too, Pat. You've been absolutely amazing. And what can we expect from you in 2021 and beyond, Pat? Oh, cool. yeah. Well, I'm working on two other books. I'm a contributing author on this book called Gift of the Universe, Leadership Through Women. Mm-hmm. And it will be coming out in March. And I will be talking about leadership and what it is to be a leadership in corporate America and in your business and also the practices that will help you become a stronger leader and lead yourself in a stronger way. And the second one is about network marketing. I've just jumped into that business as well. And there's a lot of lessons that I learned about the network marketing business and how to become a leader and really be successful in that business. So I'll be a contributing author in that particular book that will come out in the summer. Uh, You know, I'm doing retreats. I have a retreat based business. And last year, you know, many, you know, many women were you know, were stay at home and they didn't really want to venture out into exotic locations to to do retreats, to retreat with me. But now, you know, women are, are willing and ready to be among other open-minded women and really transform their businesses and themselves. And I'll be doing retreats uh, on location and we'll be doing them in virtually. So women will get a, cho- a choice of playing in either one of those uh, arenas, whatever makes them comfortable. So I'll be I'll be doing some retreats here soon. That is fantastic, and also understand according to your website, you also have a podcast. And uh, tell us more about that. Yeah, I do have a show that I do once a month. It's called <clears throat> Excuse Me Town Square Talks, and uh, my co-host is Pearl Pang. And the, the way that we got into that into this uh, business of, of making a difference through a talk show is that when we, when we learned about uh, the coronavirus, that was way back in when we learned about it in March, both of us as coaches started uh, hearing certain concerns, levels of anxiety, um, trying to, people trying to find their new norm and not knowing where, which way to turn. So we said, why don't we put together a show and let's take the concerns that we're hearing from family, friends, and clients, and let's start bringing in subject matter experts and our own experience to help women navigate a new normal. Mm-hmm. And so we, we talk about work at home and how that's changed, how, how women have had to pivot in their business, uh, business trends in both uh, business trends and health trends for 2021. And so we're, our goal is to help, uh, women entrepreneurs and professionals really ride ride the the wave of the challenges that Corona uh, the coronavirus has presented, and to make the right pivots to feel stronger and more uh, competent and secure in the decisions that they make by providing the level of resources and knowledge that they need to do so. Okay. That sounds amazing. And where can the uh, find your podcast and um, your other services and your website again? Yeah, so it's MajesticCoachingGroup.com, and we do have a YouTube channel called Town Square Talk, and we also have a Facebook page called Town Square Talk. So all our episodes are listed there. We invite you to drop in and listen and uh, subscribe and give us comments, and really our passion is just to move uh, women forward and make a difference in their lives so that they can thrive. That is so amazing. We're here with author Pat Alva Craker of Catherine's Quest, One Woman's Journey to Relation on the Mike Wagner Show. And who do you consider biggest influence in your career, Pat? The biggest influence in my career uh, have been really other women that have gone before me. In the IT industry, and there, there's a you know, specific manager that, uh, that, I, that I have in mind, is that in IT there were very few women. So many times uh, in my career, I was like the only woman in the room. I was the only woman in the room. And uh, it's really important to be able to have a role model, especially in these kind of environments, so that you don't lose yourself in trying to assimilate. Uh-huh. So I looked, I looked at the, my immediate uh, female managers, which I had a few, 
And I just really asked for, you know, for their guidance on how they were able to navigate their way to success and for them to really open my perspective and really guide me on how to be a contributor that allows me to continue to be authentic and to stand in my power. And it's really important that you have that role model to help you move forward. Mm -hmm. And that's very important as well. And what's the best advice you can give to anybody at this point? Be true to yourself. Just really be true to yourself and make decisions that align with who you are. Make decisions that, you know, come from the heart. And because it's easy to get influenced by everyone else around you, society, the culture of the company that you're in, uh, uh, you know, the community. And when you're true to yourself and you make your decisions from your heart, you can't go wrong. You really can't go wrong. Mm -hmm. So live from that space. Right. That's very important as well. Once again, author Pat Alva Craker of Catherine's Quest, One Woman's Jury to Relation on the Mike Widener Show. Pat, a very big thank you for your time. You've been absolutely fantastic. Looking forward to having you again soon. Do us a favor. Keep us up to date. Love you back on in 2021 and beyond. And once again, tell us about your upcoming projects, what's your website, how do people contact you, and where can people uh, purchase or check out your book? All right. So, yes. So please come and check me out at uh, MajesticCoachingGroup.com. There's a tab called Catherine's Quest where you can download Chapter 1 and buy the book there. I will also be selling my book, Gifts of the Universe, Women Who Lead. And I'll have a chapter in that book that talks about how to become a stronger leader. And join me on my talk, course, talk uh, huh, Town Square Talk Show. It's also all the episodes are available there on my website and on YouTube. And uh, set up a call. Let's let's chat and see how I can make a difference in your life and in your business. Thank you so much, Mike. And we certainly will do so. You're very inspirational, Pat. A very big thank you for your time. You've been absolutely great. Love to have you back on soon. And do us a favor. Keep us up to date. Love you back on in 2021 and beyond. And don't forget to keep Sounds in good. touch. And um, a- as we yeah. say to one of our exotic animals, that'll do, babe. <laughs> that'll do. That'll do, pig. <laughs> that'll do. <laughs> I love it. Thank you. The Mike Wagner Show is powered by Sonic Web Studios. If you're looking to start or upgrade your online presence, visit www.sonicwebstudios.com for all of your online needs. Sonic Web Studios specializes in custom web design, app development, social networking, search engine optimization, domain registration, email marketing, online stores, and more. Since our birth, we have been designing and developing immaculate websites and providing web solutions which are a cut above the rest. As a leading web designing enterprise, we have a team of extremely talented web designers designers who are well focused and have the experience of working on multiple web developing platforms such as PHP, Magento, Custom WordPress and more. Sonic Web Studios has been helping businesses of all kinds whether big, small, established or startup impress their audiences with exemplary web solutions. We don't just create beautiful and functional websites, we give you a complete online solution with the main goal of enhancing your yearly revenues. We aim to give your business the online exposure and brand acknowledgement that will help you in achieving increased conversions leading to profitable sales. Call 1-800-303-3960 or visit us online at www.sonicwebstudios.com to get started today. Mention the Mike Wagner Show and get 20% off your project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Hey everybody, my name is Forbes Riley and I'm an American actress and a TV host and I was delighted when I got my copy of Missing, which is Extraordinary Relation of Ordinary People based on a real-life relationship. It's just, it's well-written. It's amazing. You know, it talks about a man who has lost his wife and his daughter, and it's very well done. I'm going to highly recommend that you go get your copy of Missing. It is a powerful, exciting read. Mr. Mian Moshe Zia, he is the author of Missing. And I want to give a big shout-out and a kiss all the way halfway around the world to my dear friend. Check him out at Mia's website. It's called www.miamotionzea.com. Missing. Available on Amazon. Again, I'm Forbes Riley, and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye. Thanks for listening to The Mike Wagner Show, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. The Mike Wagner Show can be heard on Spreaker, Spotify, iHeartRadio, iTunes, YouTube, Anchor FM, Radio Public, and themikewagnershow.com. 
please support our program with your donations at themikewagnershow.com. Join us again next time for another great episode of The Mike Wagner Show.